all right so in the last video we have seen uh, how we create this package.json file okay so we have this package.json in our web driver io jasmine underscore js folder now i open the terminal from here what we are going to do is we are going to first install web driver io cli that is command line interface and before i do that i am changing the theme for my vs code if you are new to you know vs code uh, I'll tell you that this is here in file preferences and you can choose the theme maybe to dark if you want Okay, so now uh, I have changed the theme now what I do is I will uh, Install webdriver IO CLI now to install webdriver IO CLI What you need to do is since you already have npm which is node package manager uh, And you can use npm install and you can put the name of that uh, uh, package that you want to download and if you put minus minus save minus dev that means it will be adding dev dependency of that in your package.json also so the name of the package is at the rate wdio and slash cli we can go to google and we can check here uh, i'll just put here npmjs wdio cli so that is the name of the package we can check here and you can see here if I open the details so it clearly says that it is webdriver IO test runner command line interface and you can see the version maybe when uh, you would be doing this step you may see some other version and uh, these are the keywords uh, basically dependencies for these so it will be you know um, taking care of all the dependencies itself and uh, for us uh, we'll be having one dependency added in uh, dev dependency of this package JSON that would be WDIO CLI uh, so I run this command let's see what happens when we install this so right now this is our package.json we don't have any dependency and dev dependencies now I have executed the command now it is almost done and you can see here a folder created which is node underscore modules make sure that you do not edit anything in node modules folder because if you uh, edit anything and let's say you next time do npm install it will override the changes so all your code will be actually uh, apart from this node modules these are just dependencies of the project okay so we can see here in the package json there is a section added for dev dependencies which is wdio cli that we have added and it also clearly mentions the version so next step after installing this wdio cli we are good to create the configuration file since we have the cli ready so we'll use the command npx wdio config so if you want to go with the default choices what you can do is you can put minus y after this config and it will take all the default values right but uh, you know we want to give our preferences for creation of this configuration file so i do not put this minus y now when I hit enter, you see uh, it will ask me a couple of questions and with uh, their choices. So let's see what comes up when I hit enter here for the first time. So it is asking where is your automation backend located. Uh, you can choose whether that is local or your source labs or something else. So I am choosing local here. Let's see what happens when I hit enter. Okay. So you can use up and down arrow keys to select various uh, you know options. Next it asks for framework so I can choose Jasmine here because we are learning Jasmine and then we can hit enter again. Uh, do you want to use a compiler? For now let's say I do not want to use any compiler so I can use no here and if you want to use any of the compilers you can select that one as well. Okay. Okay. So next is where are your test specs located? I just go with the default value and I hit enter here and then uh, do you want to uh, do you want webdriver io to auto generate some test files let's say i put yes here to see the structure and same goes with page objects i put yes here i just want to see the structure but i will be creating my own files so next is it is asking for reporter that i want to use so you can see here we are having a lot of op, uh, you know options for low, uh, uh, reporters so i prefer a lot of them uh, but for now we can uh, you know install a spec uh, reporter or maybe uh, let's say dot reporter so uh, we'll see uh, a lot of them probably uh, in detail later for now you can choose any right and then uh, it asks for the service that you want to use so we can use selenium standalone so 
so if we use uh, selenium standalone it automatically takes care of chrome driver so no need to you know uh, separately select that and then you can put base url if uh, that is your own website you can put there otherwise uh, just put localhost here and we can delete with later okay uh, doesn't matter uh, what you put here as uh, you know options here you still have choice to update all these uh, uh, values later uh, ultimately you will be having the uh, config generated and then you can modify the values uh, in, in any way okay so now we can see here on the left side in the project structure uh, apart from the package json and package lock dot json we have a webdriver io config file now if you open this uh, config file you will see a lot of commented text here that is just for your help and there are only few lines which are you know uncommented and uh, you can see here specs mentioned here exclude max instances all these are actually configurations that you can set on your framework level okay for example max instances control how many uh, how many uh, browser instances you want to run in parallel capabilities you can uh, give here that uh, what are the capabilities of your browser if you are uh, earlier you know aware of uh, browser capabilities uh, in case of uh, browser automation or maybe mobile automation we can see that later then we have base url we have wait for timeout we can set the timeout here and then we have other options like connection retry timeout if you want to retry uh, we also have a concept of bailing here we will go all uh, you know go through all these concepts uh, slowly but for now just we can see that we have a lot of configurations that we can do here in webdriver io config and we can see here uh, reporters we have selected spec and dot so these are also there so that's what it has created for now i'm not doing any modifications apart from what we have selected from these questions uh, and i'll be using uh, it as a default configuration for us later we'll do modifications apart from that you will also see that it has created some uh, folders uh, basically a test folder and under that test folder we have specs and page objects so since we have selected that we want to have some example test cases and example page objects so i'll be talking about page objects in the next video uh, for now just understand that uh, page object contains all your element locators that you want to automate okay and their methods basically and your test spec files are basically your test cases where you'll be keeping all your test cases so that's what it has created we can take a look if you want but uh, i just want to follow the structure so that's why i won't be you know keeping these files i'll be just deleting them and i will be following this structure that i'll be having a test folder a spec folder and page object folder and i'll be creating my own files under it okay so i'll see you in the next video uh, till then goodbye